this is an interesting puzzle. It deals with Jackson Pollock and one of his painting styles, randomly dripping paint on the canvas. <laughs> Okay, now let's focus on the puzzle itself. Here we are going to receive information on some drops of paint on a canvas and then we are going to receive some queries. For each of these queries, we want to know the color of the paint at that point on the canvas. For example, let's say that this white rectangle is our canvas and some drops of paint randomly fall on it and end up looking like this. So now, if somebody asks, what is the color of the paint where this point is located at? It's purple. This point is simply orange. This one, it could have also been orange, but this newer drop of green paint has covered it, and therefore this point is now green. If a point is not on any drop of paint, then it's on the canvas itself and the color for it would be white. The puzzle gives us a bit more information. We know that each drop of paint will create a circle of unified thickness with volume V and this volume is given. Using this formula, we can compute the radius of this circle which is created by this drop of paint and then for any given point, we can compute whether this point lies in this circle or not. So again, let's assume that this is our canvas. An empty list is initialized, which is going to keep the information about the paint drops on the canvas. The first drop falls on the canvas. Let's say that it's blue. And these are the information that we are going to receive by each input. It's going to contain the center of the circle, the coordinates of the center, the volume of the created circle and its color. And using the formula, we are going to compute the radius and then we are going to update our storage list. The next drop of paint falls. This time it's green, for example. We do the same and update our storage up until the last drop. So now for each query, we are going to start from the end of the list. And when we start from the end of the list, we first are going to deal with the most recent drops. And then we are going to just look for the first drop that we find, which can contain this black dot or any query. If we check all of the drops and the query is on none of them, then it means that the query or the point where we are looking for lies on the canvas and it's white. Okay, let's now jump into the coding part. I have already imported the modules that we need from the math library. The first line of input will be the total number of paintings. Then we are going to receive all paintings For each painting, we are going to first receive the information about these drops of paint. Okay, now that we have received all of the drops, we need to uh, basically reverse this list because we are going to start looking from the end of the list. Now we need to receive all of the queries.
So now we have this query. We are going to check all of the drops to see whether this query falls into any of them. If not, at the end, we are going to print white because then it means that this uh, lies on a white shaded region of the canvas. Otherwise, as soon as we find the drop in which this point or this query lies in, we are going to print its color and then just break the loop. So basically for each drop, we computed the distance between the center of this drop and the current query. And if this distance was smaller than the radius of the circle created by this drop of paint, we would have said that it, this point or this query lies in this drop of paint. Otherwise, at the end, we would just say if none of the drops match to the coordinates of the given query, we would say that it actually lies on a white place on this canvas. Let's test the results. In the puzzle, we have only one input. And in this input, we have information about just one painting, which has three drops of paint. The first one is blue. Next one is red. Final drop is green, and we are going to have three queries. The first one actually is in a blue region, that's correct. The next one falls into the red region, and finally, the last point actually falls in a on the canvas itself, so it's going to be white. Perfect, so we are done with this puzzle. Now you are going to find the link to the codes in the captions. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in my next video.